From machine guns and helicopters to 15th century tanks, Leonardo da Vinci created and designed a lot of things in his life, but you might be surprised with how just ahead of time this Italian native really was. Stay tuned to number one to see which of his 15th century inventions you use every day. Number 10. The First Machine Gun In school, most of us learned that da Vinci was a painter, a composer, and a man of the arts. We're here to tell you today that good old Leonardo might actually have been a good deal more hardcore than you might think. While he's still the same man who painted classics such as Mona Lisa and the most famous depiction of The Last Supper, da Vinci also invented what some consider being the first machine gun. To make this feat even more impressive, he did this in a century where people were really unsure as to what gunpowder's place might be in the future of warfare. The reason that gunpowder didn't really take off until a few centuries later is simple. No one had figured out how to make it safe and reliable for use in the 1400s. Cannons were big and heavy things that took ages to reload, they just weren't all that practical. Da Vinci wasn't having such arbitrary limitations in his own inventions, however. His triple barrel cannon was lightweight and mounted on a carriage for easy transport. The groundbreaking weapon could also be reloaded from the front rather easily. Did we mention it had three barrels? Well, yep, it did. Making da Vinci the inventor of the closest thing to the world's first machine gun. You know that you're doing something right when it takes the rest of the world around 500 years to catch up to you. Number nine, a portable bridge. Back in da Vinci's day, warfare included a lot of walking. Soldiers didn't have the luxury of being transported by train or car or plane. No, they had to rely on their own two feet and animals that they could train. Having to get everywhere on the Hill Toe Express really made the issue of rivers and waterways a problem for ancient armies. No company of soldiers likes being wet after all. In Leo's time, typical warfare involved a lot of city and castle sieging and what do castles have? Moats, which are a big enough problem all on their own. We already told you that da Vinci was a military engineer as well as an artist. Well, when it came to his military designs, Leonardo was well known for valuing efficiency. It's no surprise then that he would tackle the problem of soldiers having to walk through every bit of water that was stuck in their way. To solve for this, the inventor did no less than create a willed, portable, and revolving bridge that armies could drag along behind them. In his personal notes, Leonardo described this invention of his bridge as light yet rugged. We bet the soldiers that got to use the bridge loved him for this one since it meant no more wet uniforms or rusty swords for them. Number 8. A Giant Horse Among one of his many sculpting projects, da Vinci was hired by one of his patrons to create a 24-foot tall horse. The Duke of Milan funded this project, even despite it requiring an exorbitantly expensive amount of bronze. There was so much material that needed to be applied to a sculpture that Leonardo was forced to create a new casting technique to make sure that the horse's bronze shell would be immune to cracks or faults. Unfortunately, the Duke of Milan was put in a tight spot when the King of France invaded Italy. The Duke ended up having to offer nearly 40 tons of bronze meant for da Vinci sculpture to the invading monarch as a bribe. Leonardo was somewhat upset about not being able to complete his final project and died never being able to complete it. Luckily though, Troy does have a happy ending. Leonardo's horse was later completed and the man who had done so donated the sculpture to da Vinci's birth country of Italy. Number seven, a robot knight. A good number of da Vinci's designs included the use of ropes and pulleys but none more so than the robotic knight that he created for the pageant in Milan. The robot was designed without a single unneeded part and could sit down, stand up, and even raise its visor. Leonardo's designs were so finely formulated that some of NASA's robots are designed after his work on the robotic knight, and we thought his invention of the machine gun was impressive. Number 6. The Parachute Da Vinci isn't actually credited with the invention of the parachute, but he was definitely one of the first men to ever think of it. For years, scientists doubted whether Leonardo's design would actually work though. 
This was because, based on the inventor's notes, Leonardo's parachute was to be constructed a good deal differently than how we create parachutes in the modern day. Some researchers are known to have stated that his design would just be too heavy and its shape was too wrong for it to actually work. For the longest time there was no proof to argue against these naysayers either, as, like with many of his ideas, Leonardo never actually built or tested the parachute himself. Still, the great inventor would be proved right in the end. In the year 2000, the world was shocked when a daredevil named Adrian Nichols constructed and tested da Vinci's design for the fun of it. And, to everyone's surprise, Leonardo's parachute actually worked. Nichols even said it felt smoother falling with the ancient design than compared to its modern day counterparts. Now, coming from a man who was so tired of modern parachutes that he tested an ancient one just for the thrill, we'd say he'd probably know. Maybe parachute designers nowadays should take a closer look at what the world's most well-known renaissance man was doing back in the 1400s. Number 5. Ancient Tank This is one of the most famous of all da Vinci's inventions, so we just had to put it in the top 5 of our list. Leonardo's armored car was to be powered by eight men who were to be constantly turning cranks that rotated its many wheels. Even though it's often referred to as an armored car or tank, this invention really looked more like a giant metal top than anything else. Da Vinci's armored car was circular in design with metal plates enclosing its wooden frame. These plates were affixed on a sloped surface so that they could better deflect arrows and other projectiles. If you're wondering how this enclosed behemoth would actually fire though, well, we'll tell you. The ancient war machine was to have light cannons placed inside it at all angles. There was also a sighting scope at the very top of the wooden and metal tank to allow its operators to fire and aim in all directions. It's no wonder Da Vinci noted that this invention would be best used for crowd control and to scatter enemies. It would have been terrifying on the ancient battlefield. Number 4. Scuba Gear Da Vinci loved the world around him. He painted it, he investigated it, and he built things to better interact with and explore it. Leo is well known for his fascination with the air, but he also invaded a great many things that revolved around water as well. While living in Venice, the great inventor created an early diving apparatus that would allow man to stay underwater for a lot longer than he could hold his breath. Leonardo designed a leather suit that was attached to a hollow cane tube. The cane tubes were also connected to a cork diving bell that provided air from the surface to the diver. Da Vinci didn't just stop with allowing a man to stay under the water, however. He also affixed the suit with a balloon that allowed its wearer to control his descent and could also assist with bringing the diver back to the surface quickly if needed. Smart thinking if you ask us. Number 3. The First Car We've established that Da Vinci was way ahead of his time. We've listed scuba gear, tanks, and more. But he also invented something that the rest of us rely on every day. The car. Da Vinci's car really wasn't for transport, though. It was a bit limited. It could be programmed to push itself either straight or at angles, but really couldn't be steered. That said, Leonardo's self-prepared car did exactly what its inventor wanted it to. He actually designed it for theater and show, and not for transport. Even though Da Vinci's car wasn't all that drivable, it was something that we were sure gave the residents of Europe quite a thrill, just like Leonardo would have wanted it to. Number 2. A Helicopter Da Vinci not only wanted to conquer the water and ground, but also the sky. So it's no shock to us then that he developed and designed a primitive helicopter of sorts. The inventor described the machine as working by compressing air and then using the force generated to spin his helicopter powerfully and rapidly into the sky. Just like with his parachute design though, Da Vinci never actually built or tested his plans for a flying machine. Also, because of what it would weigh, many researchers doubt its ability to ever even get off the ground. But hey, the experts were wrong about Da Vinci's parachute design, so maybe there's hope. Who's going first? Number 1. The Ball Bearing Ball bearings are found in cars, laptops, and almost all modern inventions and appliances. They reduce friction and allow machines to spin without overheating or outright ripping themselves apart. Many of Leonardo's inventions were controlled by pulleys and levers, but 
In the twilight of his life, da Vinci bridged the gap between ancient and modern technology and rediscovered the ball bearing. Okay, the ball bearing was actually, as far as we can tell, first used in the Roman Empire, but it was subsequently lost along with Rome's fall. It was da Vinci that rediscovered the ball bearing just a decade or two before his death. We remember Leonardo da Vinci as one of the greatest painters and inventors to ever have lived. But thanks to his discovery of the ball bearing, in a way, we all use one of his many inventions almost every day. Before you go, take a minute to subscribe. Also, check out some of our other videos here. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.